Hi, and welcome to Google Docs Drawing Tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use the basic tools in Google Docs to create drawings. Uh, some of the things you can make in Google Docs are different diagrams, charts, webs, and many other things. Google Docs is very easy to use, and the first thing you need to do is go to google.com, and you can get to Google Docs one of two ways. You can either go to More and hit Documents, and that will take you there. Or you could type in docs.google.com also to get there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to Create New. And we have some options here. We have Document, Presentation, Spreadsheet, Form, Drawing, Collection. And I'm going to go to the Drawing. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is title this. I'm just going to call it Graphic Organizer. Hit OK. And if I want to choose different shapes, I'm going to come here. And if you hover over, you can see uh, that it says shape. You can click that and you can choose from a variety of different shapes. They have arrows that you can choose from, callouts, and equations. I'm going to choose I'm going to choose the rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle here and go back. And I guess to make this easier, instead of drawing each one, you can copy paste. So I'm going to paste one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Four, five, six. So I want to use the same size box for my graphic organizer. Okay, now that I have my boxes, you can add text to a shape and you just simply double click on the shape and enter your text here. So I'm just going to call this box one and then hit enter to save. Come here, call it box two, enter. Box three. four, five, and six. Okay, sometimes you're going to want to add multiple lines and if you want to do that, you simply use the shift and enter key for multiple lines. I'm going to hit shift enter, that'll take me down to the next line and I'm going to type in setting here. And then again, hit enter, and the text goes right into the box. Shift enter. Uh, this will be characters. Enter. Box three. And I'm going to put in here describe the problem. Box four. Shift enter. Uh, we'll call this event one. Box five, we'll call this event two. And then my last box here, I'm just going to title this uh, Describe the Solution and hit enter. Okay, so I have all the text I want in here to get my graphic organizer started, but I want to use lines to connect my boxes. So I'm going to go over here, and again, if I hover over this, it says line. If I click on that arrow, I have some different options here that I could use. I'm just going to use the line for now, 
and you'll notice that these circles come up. It kind of keeps you in line here from, from box to box. So I'm going to use this and I just simply click and drag. And I'm going to try to drag right into that circle so it's nice and straight. And I'm going to do the same thing for my characters, box two, box three, so they're connected. And it's nice I don't have to go back up here and click every time unless I want to change it. And then I'm going to go from box three to box four. And then I want these both connected. And then I'm going to connect boxes four and five as well and from five to six okay all right well my graphic organizer here is a bit boring so I'm gonna add some color to my graphic organizer and that's easy to do you just simply click on the box and you want to make sure the whole thing is highlighted if you just click in the middle here it's only going to change your font so I have my box selected I'm gonna come over to the fill color the little pail here and I'm going to choose my color of choice so I'll just have red for this one and it is kinda of hard to see my font so I can change that as well come over here and I'm gonna make it yellow that'll stand out and hit enter again um, box 2 I'll make this I'm not going to change the font in every single one, but again, if you want to up here, it'll say text color, and you go there, highlight your text, and you can change the color there. So I'm just going to change these quickly here, just to demonstrate. Go here, box five. Oh, see, and I made a mistake here. I didn't want to just do the outline. I accidentally hit the line color, the pencil, so I'm going to hit undo over here. If I make a mistake, just go there and click that. I'm going to try this again. Go back over to the pail and select the blue, pail, and do yellow. Okay, and you'll notice up here it keeps saying saving, which is really nice. So if something happens, it is saved. Uh, you could also select your entire graphic organizer and you can arrange it you can align align the graphic organizer horizontally left center right vertically top middle bottom center and uh, you can also rotate it if you want so there's some different options there um, Another thing is zoom. This is nice if you're viewing somebody else's and there's a lot of different boxes. If you'd like to zoom in on one, I like this. We can zoom in, zoom in. Okay, and if you want to zoom out, I just hit the, the right click on my mouse to take it back to how it was. Okay. When I'm done, I'm going to go to file if I want to save it or download it as something else I'm going to go to file and download as and I have some options here PNG JPEG SVG PDF and I'm just going to say uh, JPEG I'm going to download it as a JPEG okay saving the file and I can open it as a JPEG so there it is Also, you could take this drawing and put it into a PowerPoint. And to do that, you come over here to the web clipboard, click that, and I want to first copy my entire drawing to the web clipboard. Okay, so that copies all this. And then I'm going to go to File, New, and you can put it into a document, spreadsheet. I'm going to put it into a presentation. Taking a minute here. Okay, you can add a title if you'd like. I'm going to say my graphic organizer. Okay. Hi, Brittany. Okay. Well, I want another slide, so I'm going to go up here to slide 
new slide and you have some layouts here you can choose from. I'm going to choose blank. Okay. And then I'm going to go to let's see. Oh, I'm going to go back to the web clipboard. Oh, sorry about that. Got to undo. Come here and if I just hover over the different drawings, I'm going to see my drawing that I just created. I'm going to click on that. And I can adjust it if I want by dragging the boxes here. If I see something once I come in here, I can make changes by double clicking. And I can edit my drawing. And then I just simply hit save and close. It'll bring me back here. Okay. Up here it says private to only me. You can change this if you want to share this with others. Just click that and I'm going to hit change. Right now it's private. I'm going to change this to public on the web and this is really nice because you can get feedback from other people and you can take a look at other people's projects and I'm going to hit save and then done. Okay well this was a short tutorial on Google Docs drawings. I hope you found it useful. Thank you.